Let us try an example to use the factor of safety in order to check for the stability in terms of the overturning. In this question, a beam is supported by foundations A and B and the loop supported by the beam include its own self-weight which is 20 kN per meter UDL and a concentrated variable loads of 170 kN. The question asks us to determine the weight of the foundations required at A to receive the arc lift by using two methods. The first method is by applying the factor of safety equals to 2.0 to the reactions calculated from the working load and the second method is by using the ultimate limit state approach with partial factors of safety equals to 1.1 and 0 0.9 for the permanent actions and 1.5 for the variable actions. Within the two methods here, you are asked to investigate the effect of this design for a 7% increase in terms of the variable actions. You may pause the video for a while for you to work out the solution. First, we adopt the factor of safety equals to 2.0 of the working load. You use the equations of static equilibrium which sigma mb here equals to 0 to find the reactions at Ra. The reactions is found to be 3.33 kN. Next, you determine the weight of the foundations required. The working loads needs to be multiplied with the factor of safety of 2.0 which gives you a minimum weight of the WA to be 6.7 kN. To determine the reactions of RA with the 7% increase of the variable actions, you will multiply with an additional 7% to the calculation steps. This gives you a RA equals to 7.3 kN. This 7.3 kN RA is to be multiplied with the factor of safety of 2.0, it will obtain 14.6 kN. From the comparison here, you realize that a 7% increase in terms of variable actions will lead to a significant increase in terms of the weight required for the foundations. This is mainly due to the effect of the long lever arm between the variable actions and the reaction at A. Next, you may use the ultimate limit state approach for you to calculate the amount of the weight required at foundation A. First, you need to refer to this table for the ultimate limit state. To check for the overturning, we are looking at the first case here. There are permanent actions and variable actions. And within the permanent actions, there are favorable and unfavorable conditions. And within the variable actions, there are also favorable and unfavorable actions. The factor of safety are given here. Adopt the factor of safety as listed here. Next, you need to determine the conditions which is favorable and unfavorable to the reaction air here. The load is considered favorable when the reaction air decreases due to the load and it is considered unfavorable when an increase of the loop here will lead to increase in terms of the reaction here. In this case, the self-weight of this stretch is considered favorable 
while the self-weight at this stretch is considered unfavorable and the variable action here is considered unfavorable. Next, you use the equations of static equilibrium where sigma m equals to 0 to determine the reaction here. You will find that the reactions needs to be at least 38.3 kN. Then, with a 7% increase of the variable actions, an additional 7% is provided at the variable actions, the reactions is found to be 44.3 kN. The increase is about 15%. Comparing the two methods being used to determine the overturning stability of the structures, the reaction air here seems to be relatively large in comparison to the reactions air given by the factor of safety 2.0. This means that the ultimate limit state approach is more conservative as compared to the factor of safety 2.0. Through identifications of the favorable and unfavorable conditions and the adjust factor of safety, the most critical situations of the structures can be identified.